Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back. We are on the final fifth part of our year-end 2018 loot haul. The figures, it's Christmas Miracle, they got here before the end of the year. Woohoo, yes. So yes, in front of us now is a last minute, literally last minute addition to the order. Mephmeri got delayed, and I just, I wanted another one to fill her spot. Smart man would have saved his money. Me, I bought a figure. I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I keep kept talking myself out of her. And we'll talk about that more later, but I kept going back to her, too. So this is Alyssa Rainford. I don't know anything about her. Uh, she is from Eiyu Densetsu Sen no Kiseki 2. Don't know anything about the game. Uh, this is a non-scaled figure. But she looks to be about a 1 7 scale figure, so 1 7 scale haul. Uh, and she is manufactured by Union Creative. Uh, Alyssa was released on September 28th of 2018, so she's been out for a while. But I ordered her on uh, December 21st of 2018, and I paid for her the same day, <laughs> got her in the order in before the invoice came in. Uh, she shipped out Christmas Miracle on Christmas Eve and got delivered on the 28th of December in an Amiami coffin. <laughs> uh, so Alyssa is kind of on the pricey side. She was 13824 yen or $128.47. It's a simple figure in a swimsuit. Don't know anything about her, but yeah. Anyways, uh, there is the front of her box. You can have you have a nice big window showing her off the figure. There is Alyssa from the side. The back of the box with a couple different angles of her. And the other side with a nice close-up picture of Alyssa. Uh, there is the top of the box. It's got a little window to let some light in on her. And there is a plain boring bottom. And this is one of the, probably the smallest box in the entire haul, so that was a good thing. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and get her open. She is in a heavy-duty corrugated cardboard box, and there is a single seal. So we'll cut that open and open the box, pull her out. Uh, the inner lining is a little bent on the side, but who, who cares? Uh, inside of the box, blue white little points of light and everything. Typical inside of the box. Over on the side. And there is Alyssa in her blister packaging. A little bit easier to see her now. And as I said, pretty simple figure. Simple pose, simple co a competition swimsuit. Don't see that very often. Usually it's uh, bikinis. There she is from the back. And there she is from the other side. And back to the front. So yeah, let's uh, get Alyssa out of the blister packaging now. Out of release her from the plastic of the prison, the prison of the plastic. There we go. Pop it open. Spin her around. Pop it open on the other side, making as much noise as humanly possible. So we'll pull out her base. It is a pretty boring, plain black base. She does have a single metal peg, though. So hopefully that supports her well. And then, the only other thing is Alyssa. Uh, and it looks like she is inside of a plastic bag. Pull that off. And then she's got some plastic wrapped around her neck. Uh, be careful, it goes under her hair and around under her hair on the back and over her shoulder and pull it off and there we go. She is de-plastic. So let's get that out of the way and get this out of the way. Just be careful because it can easily catch on her hair and break things. But there is Alyssa's happy girl smiling winking face. I'm just curious Okay, she wants to fall backwards. Let's see if we put her on a more solid surface. 
Yeah, she is back heavy, so you definitely do need to use the base. So yeah. Uh, she's got a nice ear on her. Nice, happy girl, open mouth smile, but no teeth. Uh, I think I did watch uh, Max, the Echitaku's unboxing of her, and he knows the game and everything. He said this pose is kind of based off of her, like, a magical girl outfit she has. Not the swimsuit, but hey, she is wearing a swimsuit. And like I said, it's like a competition swimsuit, so it is a one-piece. It is tight on her body. You can see and feel her rib cage and her belly line and belly button, so... I think this is one of the rare cases where I will accept a vacuum sealed belly button uh, from the back. It is definitely digging into her booty and riding up a little bit. Her cheeks are peeking out. Uh, none of her back flesh is really showing, up, except for up here you can see the nape of her neck barely. Uh, paint lines seem nice and clean. Uh, there is a couple spots where it could just be the lighting on her, but like on her hip, it's a little bit shiny, a little bit on her neck and her arm, but it's not bad. Uh, she has like a matte finish to her, matte paint finish, so it's not smooth. It's a little bit textured. I love the side view of her chest region. The, they did the side boob very, very good, and it, she's got large boobs, so it is kind of folding over on itself. Uh, she is making a little happy girl sign symbol with her hand. And we see the pose that is the bane of all of our existence. Middle and ring finger together. One piece. Uh, other hand, much better. Again, middle and ring finger, one piece. But you can see her knuckles and everything. Uh, fingernails have just a hint of paint to them. Uh, the back of her hair. Got a glued on piece there, glued on piece there. So luckily you're not looking at her from the back. Uh, she does have a couple little pigtails with little ribbons. But yeah, overall pretty nice. Nice legs, nice knees, nice toes. They are one piece but sculpted nicely. A little bit of paint on the nails. And we see the bottom sculpted nicely again and the peg hole. So let's go ahead and just jam her onto the base. Nice and simple. Uh, and she is stable, but you can adjust her, have her close to the front of the base, or spin her around and have her close to the back of the base. It's In a way, that's a good thing, because now you've got options on how you're going to put her into the shelf and put figures around her. But for now, we'll put her kind of just in the center. And we can bring her closer. Tilt the camera down a bit, get a full body shot, and do a nice little spin around. So as I've said many times, I don't know anything about Alyssa. She's a pretty simple figure and was kind of expensive. So that's the reasons I kept talking myself out of buying her. But every time I went to Amiami and I was scrolling through their in-stock list and everything, I kept seeing her. I love her face and her hair and the swimsuit and everything. I kept clicking on her and reasoning myself out of buying her. Because, you know, expensive, don't know her, simple and all that. But you know what? I like her. So, I got her. That's all there is to it sometimes. You can set all these rules for yourself. And for some people, it's a good thing. It helps them control themselves. But sometimes the rules just get in the way of getting beautiful figures like this one. This is Alyssa Rainford. She is from Eiyu Densetsu Senokiseki 2. She, this is a non-scale figure, looks to be about a one-seventh. She is manufactured by Union Creative and was released on September 28th of 2018. I ordered her on December 21st of 2018 and I paid for Alyssa 13,824 yen or $128.47. She's a cutie, she's happy, I just love her, so I'm glad I got her. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. See ya in 2019, where hopefully the pretty plastic continues. Bye-bye.